Okay, um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to try and show people like the basic steps for the Dragon Effect, which is written right here, D-R-A-G-A-N. Um, there's a guy called Andrzej um, Dragon, a Polish uh, photographer, uh, found a way to do this in Photoshop. Um, this is the before and after. Um, I guess he was credited as the, being the first person who really came up with this effect. If you look where my mouse is circling here with the fur around the head, come over to the after, you see all the extra detail, how it's darker, much more well defined, especially the beak. And this beak right here, there's a lot more glare, less detail, and if you look at this detail over here, the darker one, it's much more detailed. You see a lot more. So, like I said, I'm not giving you the whole thing that's found on the tutorials, I'm only giving you today um, a little shortcut that you can go from there and you can decide what you want to do after that. Um, I'm using an image here from a friend of mine um, on DeviantArt. Um, I will, if you looked up my name on DeviantArt, you'll see the original artist. So, first thing you want to do is bring your image up, of course. Um, you don't have to do any edits to it be, to begin with. You find a decent image you like, and then you go over. If you watch my cursor over the right, you go over to the right. You right-click on your background. It says Duplicate Layer. Just OK. Make another duplicate. OK, now the new copy is going to be the one that's highlighted on your right. Go up to the top where it has Filters. Go down to Other. Now this is in Photoshop CS3. So if you have 3 or 4 you should be fine. I'm not sure if this is in CS2. But right here is High Pass. H-I-G-H-P-A-S-S. -S, high Pass. You click on that. Okay, what it does is, as you can see, it gave it this really cool kind of a ambiance, neat little glare. You've got a slider over here that could change how much it does it. See, if you, the less you go, it goes to where you can almost not even see the picture. And I usually go somewhere, I'm at about 14, let's see, let's go 15. I'm going to go 15 pixels. Start with that one to begin with. Okay, now obviously this is not what we want our picture to look like right here. So go over to the right, right click on your the one you just altered, your duplicate layer. Go up to your blend options. Okay, under blend mode, you can go down to whatever settings you like. Color burn is too dark. Linear burn is really nice. And then you can slide down how much it affects it. And I only brought it to about... I'm going to stop at about 65%. Actually, I'm going to go a little less, like 60. Okay. Then you can get OK. Now, the eye on the picture has gotten so dark that you can't see it. So all I'm going to do is, since I'm already over here, I'm still on the same layer, the background copy. Not the background, but the copy of the background. I'm going to go over here to my eraser. Now I already have a pre-selected to the size I need. And it's a soft brush with a nice um, uh, edge to it, um, like a fading edge. So it's not a hard brush, it's a soft brush. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go ahead and erase all that darkness where the eye was. Now, it's much, you might not be able to see it on this camera. Let me see if I can find a better way to do this. No, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm sorry, but you can now much more, take my word, you can see the detail in the eye much better, the actual color and everything. And really, this right here is all I really had to do just to get the effect so that you could see um, the beak down here. You can see all the detail, and you can see all the detail up in his fur, and his hair and feathers. Um, you can do a lot more from here. This is basically all I really do to do the basics of the dragon effect. There's a lot more you can do as far as framing. There's more detail you can bring out by using different sliders over and over here on the right with your blending effects. Um, play around with it and see if you like it. Um, let's see. 
Um, then you can go ahead and uh, if you go back over to your borders, you, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can see the difference. There's without it, there's with it. Without it, with it. it looks, I think it looks much better with the dragon effect. Well, go ahead and play with it um, here, you know, the way you want from here. Um, my DA Deviant art page is Wikasa Wakan, W I C A S A W A K A N. Um, I will put this in the end of the video. Enjoy.